we doing? <laughs> yeah, I know I gotta do my little intro. How are we? Me, I'm doing amazing today. So guys, I wanted to show up as, you know, me, my authentic self today in my aura, in my light. Y'all already know I'm bright. I am vibrant. I am, I'm all that, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to show up as that today. And I wanted to do a fun video of, you know, just describing my personality. So sharing a little bit of me with you all through things that I feel that describe my personality, right? Right, even in my outfit, this this is me. This, this is my personality. I love wearing bright colors. I love wearing bright outfits. I love, you know what I'm saying? I just love being bright. Like, I'm a lot, and I know that. <laughs> I know that. But I feel like I do it in such a simple sense. Like, I don't have to put on a lot. I don't have to put on too much. I don't have to do too much when it comes to makeup or whatever the case. I like being simple, but still very, like, just out there like just so much color just so much in your face and so yeah so even in my outfit this is this is me and everybody knows when it comes to my little hair wraps okay this is my hair wraps are like my crown i view them as my crowns so like this is my crown i love wearing my hair wrap i feel like i look so different so unique when i put my hair like this when i wear my hair like this so yeah, and then it bring out my eyes more, I feel. It bring out my face more versus like when you see me with my locks. I don't look I don't look this way when I wear my locks. I look like a whole nother person with my locks. So yeah, so this is me. And then I have on a Capricorn necklace and I'm a Capricorn moon. So for those of you that are, are in astrology, do you know what I'm talking about? And if you don't, go look it up. Um, so yeah, I'm a Capricorn moon in this Capricorn season. It was a Cap it was a new moon in Capricorn, and this is the year of like basically Capricorn energy. So this is this is what I'm wearing my Capricorn is my goat energy. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's get let, let's get started, y'all, because I want to show y'all you know who your girl really is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it in five items, okay? Five items that describe my personality. And then I'm gonna go in detail in those five items, okay? To start off, we're gonna start off with this lovely lady right here that is beside me. My baby, guys. My second baby. I have a first one, but she's currently in nature. She's with her her dad and spending time with their family somewhere in nature. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go pick her up eventually, but I'm letting her grow and everything because when she was with me, she was just going, she was just going through a lot. And I'm like, okay, you go with your dad. And so I put her with her dad in nature. And yeah, so this is my second baby. This is my second child. And I forgot her name. <laughs> I forgot both of my plants' names. Can y'all believe that? I have no idea what I named my plants. Like, that's just how much I've been through in 2023. So, can you just guess how much I've been through in 2023 to the point I forgot the names of my plants? What? I never forget the names of anything that I named. So, the fact that I forgot the names of my plants is like, what in the world? I don't know what I named them. And okay, for this one, I'm like, okay, it's understandable because she was fairly new. But the other one, I had her for a minute. It's been almost been a year since I had her. And I have no idea what I named her. That is crazy to me. She's a bamboo plant. I got her from Walmart. I chose her to represent you know, a part of me, uh, one of my items today is because I love nature, I love plants, I love nurturing, like I'm a mother at heart, I'm not a mother physically yet, but if you know me, if you have met me, you have most definitely have experienced my motherly like energy, so I'm like, what's better than, to, you know what I'm saying, and then look how beautiful she is, like, she is gorgeous, okay, like, she is gorgeous. You can't tell me she's not gorgeous. So, I don't know. It's just, and I love green. My favorite color is green. You know, I love, love, love green. So, she's green. She's 
she's a representation of nature. She makes me feel like a mother because I am a mother at heart. No, I'm not ready for kids. Um, unless I got a ring on my finger, baby, we ain't having no kids, okay? <laughs> so I'm not even trying to go that route. But I will nurture the fuck out of some plants. They go, they gonna go through hell a little bit because I be going through it. But like, they gonna, they gonna get through it. You know what I'm saying? One thing I learned about plants is they're very strong. My other plant, the one I planted in nature, like she been through so much with me. She just, she was, she was a representation of what I was experiencing in 2023. You know, she literally died like so many times, and she still find the way to come back to life like it don't matter what she's been through she suffocated like she almost died of heat guys like all her leaves fell off because of heat i end up leaving her inside of a car and completely forgot literally most of her leaves turned brown had to cut them off like she went through so much and just to see like she have still persevered through all her trials it's like she's truly a representation of who i am and that's another reason why I love plants because I see them as a reflection of me. And this one, this one is a bad bitch, okay? She's giving bad bitch, okay? Like, you can't fuck with her. What I really love about her is that she go through a lot of periods of isolation. Like, ever since I've got her, she's been in, she had to go through a lot of periods of isolation. Like, I couldn't bring her everywhere that I was going. And so I had to leave her by herself. But the great thing about her is that she's very adaptable. Like, she don't complain. She don't complain at all whatsoever. She's like, I'm going to adapt to my situation and I'm going to do what I got to do. And that's exactly how she is. She is very, very adaptable, flexible. Like, she's willing to work with you. And you don't have to really, like, care for her too, too much. As long as you water her every now and then, she's good. Like, it works out because it's like... You know, she's just very adaptable, and I love her for that. And that's how also how I see myself. I feel like I'm a very adaptable individual. So yeah, guys, like this is my baby. I don't know her name. Can one of you guys name her? Because I don't know what I'm going to name her. I don't want to name her Bamboo simply because she she is a bamboo plant, but I don't want to name her Bamboo. So it's like, what's going to be her name? I need somebody to name her for me, please. Next, next, next. But I feel that describes my personality, that describes me. Like, when you see it, oh, you're like, yeah, that's so, that's so, <laughs> is, of course, of course, of course, I had to bring a scarf. Of course I had to bring a scarf. Because, <laughs> do we not know by now? Do we, do we not know? It's like, and I know how to pick them. That's the thing. Like, it's one thing to love them, but to know how to pick them, that's a whole nother shebang. I know how to pick me a good scarf. And I have so many that I have not, like, really just introduced yet. But this is one of, like, my original ones that my original pattern one. I was so used to getting, like, like scarves that's just solid, solid scarves. And so this was like the first pattern scarf that I bought. And this was actually inspired by my friend in college. She had one that was like a rainbow effect too. And I really loved it. Like it was so beautiful. And so when I saw it, it reminded me of her scarf. And I'm like, yes, I am getting this. So it is, it's elephants. So it's filled with elephants. And then it's a rainbow. It has all these different colors. It's like, it's representing the chakra system. You know what I'm saying? You got the crown, you got the third eye, you got the throat, you got the solar, you got the sacral and the root. So I love scars, guys. What I really love about scars is how versatile they are. You can wear it as a head wrap. You can, I see a lot of the white women when I used to work at the breakers. But with a lot of the white women, they'll put it, they'll put it, they'll put it around their shoulders. And, and it keeps them warm, you know what I'm saying? It keeps them warm. So I'm like, huh, oh, because that's what I would put on my head. And then I'm looking at them and they're actually using it to like keep them warm. And I'm like, that's crazy. So yeah, it keeps you warm. You know, you can style it a little bit. And then you can wear it as a shirt, as a top. You can wear it as a skirt. It's just 
it's up to you. You can wear it even as a dress, depending on how you style it. But like, I really, really love scarves. And if you know me, then you know your girl love her scarves. Not only do she love her scarves, but she know how to she know how to pick them. Being scarves, we we tight. We forever. Okay, we are forever. Next on the agenda is a creation that I made. So I made this at the library and it's my creation and it's just, it just describes me like, it's just me, you know? Let me just show you, let me just show you. This is my vintage box that I made myself. The only thing that I didn't do to this box was make the physical box. It came in like a wooden, all white, like, you know, wood type of box, but I painted it myself. I painted it myself. Um, I add the, the, the texture, all the stuff on it myself, even on the inside, I did that myself and at the bottom it has like a, a, like a little page written thingy at the bottom. So this is my box and this is my scrying mirror box. So basically this is like for my business, as you can see I have my, my business cards on the front. I have my business cards on the front. Um, I have, I'm gonna show you guys in depth on how it looks when it's, you know what I'm saying. But it says, vintage memory in the front, joyful, put your heart, mind, and soul into every small act, you know. I'm, I'm gonna just show y'all, but what's inside the box is my tarot cards, because you know it's a scrying mirror and we work with tarot cards over this side. Let me pull a tarot card for you guys. Hold on. What 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 the six of wands coming out on top every time. Period poo. Okay. <laughs> And then I have some um, oracle cards, some affirmational cards. Give me one for the collective. What's it said, quiet your mind. So take time to spend time with yourself. Meditate. Really, you know, quiet your mind. Get away from the distractions. Okay? So we got that up in. We got some prosperous spray. So this is a roll opener spray. Um, I put in a green bottle because it is green. Um, and basically it's supposed to help like allow opportunities uh, to come your way to free up that energy. Let me go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? You could just, it's like a, like a cologne. You spray it on you, you spray it around you type of thing. And you manifest. We got our business cards. So I made my business cards myself. I made my logo myself. I made my banner myself. I've made my website myself. So make sure y'all go check me out. Cause yeah, I, I killed that. I ate my website up and you can't tell me <laughs> otherwise. It's actually my first set of business cards. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to, but you know, it is my first set of business cards. So I didn't really know what to expect with all the options that I had and with the time that I had too. Um, Cause I had an event that I had to do. So I got them in a pretty like short time. But yeah, that's my business card, describing Mira. I have this rock. So I actually found this rock when I was on the railroad tracks and I was like smoking and stuff. And I was just on the railroad tracks dancing, chilling. I love dancing, guys. Like, I just really, really love dancing. And when I'm smoking, I dance. It's just, it's just a vibe. Like, I'm a vibe, period. So, it's just listen to my music. I remember I was just in, like, Tory Lane's um, Alone, Alone at Prom album. I love that album. If you don't know that album, go listen to it. It's an 80s themes album. And I'm definitely from the 60s, 70s, 80s vibe. Hands down, I was alive during that time. Somewhere, somehow, I was alive during that time. I remember, and then I found this rock, and I was like, ooh, this rock hit. So I picked it up, it's very beautiful. Um, so yeah, I got that in here. Just, you always want some form of grounding element with you. That's how I feel, at least for me. And then I have some matches in here. Why, I don't know. But you can never go wrong with having matches because you just never know. You just, just never know. And I'm the type where I prefer matches.
lashes over lighters. I don't know, it's just something about it that's just so authentic. It's just so like, it's just like, it just, it just make me feel good. Like, I don't know, it just feels like me. I love, I love, I love matches. And then inside, I have the pages that I was trying to tell you guys. The page, and then there's a feather here too. Yes, guys, I created this box my damn self, okay? One thing I love about me is how creative I am. I can be very creative, and I felt like I wasn't always creative, especially growing up, because I wasn't in a lot of creative stuff, so I automatically believed that I wasn't creative, and that's a lie. The devil is a lie. So yeah, and then there's a bee at the bottom, because you know, have eyes. I, I think this because it just it's a creation that I physically made um, and it, it really does describe me from the color of the copper like I love warm tones to the pictures and stuff I love vintage stuff and then my business cards that's my business that's my baby um, even with the earth elements all of it it's just it's just me next on the list next on the list the next item that I want to bring up is a collection of items, but I feel like I couldn't just choose one because they all go along so well together and they all just, it just depicts me. Like if I just looked at this collection without knowing who it belonged to, I'm like, yeah, whoever that is, she's fire. I love her. Who, who, who is she? Just because it's just so much personality in this collection and it just, it just describes me and I just love that. I love how I constantly choose items that really just align with my soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that about me. So, and can you tell I obviously love myself? It's a collection of my journal and plan planner. So I have two journals and I have my planner. And I couldn't just choose one because I feel like it was unfair to the other ones. So I'm gonna show you guys all of them. So I actually added this on here to give it some, you know, character, some funk, some spark to it. You know what I'm saying? And it says, trust the journey. It's beat up, guys, because we've been through a lot together, okay? I got this from Target. I just love it. Like, look, she got locks like me. You know, she's vibrant like me. Her aura is vibrant like me. Like, it's, it's just a representation of who I am. And so that's why I got this in, the, in here. Look, I'm trying to sew a snake. I see myself as a snake. Um, I'm definitely a serpent. I even have the eyes of a serpent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is definitely me. I have my planner. So I, this is a 2024 planner. I got her last year in November, I think, or October and she's very beautiful i love her i love how this little thingy comes in the front it's like this little sheer thingy and then when you turn it and then there's these flowers and it's just so me like and then it got these pockets i never had a planner that had pockets and it's so useful i got all types of stuff in here i got stickers in here i got fires in here i got sticky notes i got all types of stuff in here so yeah, it have pockets and then yeah, it's just cool. I just I just love it. It's just mad cool. Look, it chanted so once again. She's dope. And then she's got these teal colors, which you know I love green. Teal is my favorite shade of green. Teal, like it's like green and blue mixed together. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite shade of green, okay? Oh, and then I added this on the side. The details. I added this little thing on the side, and it has like this little thing at the end. You were given this life because you are strong enough to live it. Sometimes I don't feel that way, but <sighs> it's true. It is absolutely true. I am a very strong individual, and I recognize that. But I'm tired of being strong, universe. My notebook. This is another journal. So this is my creative notebook. You see how it's orange? And orange is in relation to the sacral chakra, which is the chakra of creativity and sexuality and stuff. And so that's why I use this for all my creative stuff because it's just perfect. Now there's an M. I'm going to put the M in association with mirror, <laughs> the scrying mirror, um, because I don't have an M that's associated with my name, but I love the notebook. So, and I got this from five and below.
just very beautiful like i love the pages like look at the pages and they're very like wide and you know they look nice so yes guys this is my collection of notebooks that describes my personality i feel like each one of them definitely give you a sense of who i am how i am you know what i'm saying artistically creatively mentally all that like i love colors I love patterns. I love uniqueness. And this is exactly what these notebooks are. Last but not least, okay, before we even get into it, before we even get into it, let me tell y'all. This one is very, very special to me. This item is something that is so special to me to the point where I'm not willing to let her go to nobody. Somebody wanted my wanted her, and I'm like, no no at first i said yes and then i'm like no because you're not going to cherish her how i cherish her we've been through some things together we have been through some things together and if you can obviously tell i built relationships with my items with material stuff i built relationships with them everything around me is going to have some sort of sentimental value to it to the point where i develop a personal relationship with it and it's a good and a bad thing because i also always have to be in this space of detachment so i'm always giving away a lot of my stuff i'm always letting go of things and it's like at the same time it's like bittersweet because i have developed relationships with the things that i have and i'm very intentional about the things that i do have and so it's just like yeah but this one here this one here, I'm gonna fight for every single time. Every single time. And I'm gonna tell you why. This gives soul. It just absolutely gives soul. Like, oh yeah, that soul right there. I said that about everything else, but this one, but this one is truly me. And it is my baby. Let me show y'all. Do y'all see her? Do y'all see her? Like, do y'all see her? Okay, there's no other rug out there that looks just like this. And you can't tell me otherwise. I Let me just tell y'all, if I was to be anything in this whole world, it would definitely be my rug. Not in the sense where I get stepped on by people, but just like how vibrant she is, how homey she is. You know, she just, she just a, she just a representation of me, and yeah, that's that's my girl right there, y'all. <laughs> so I actually bought this rug right before I went out the country to Colombia. Colombia was the first country that I visited out of the U.S. It was the only country that I visited out of the U.S. thus far, and I went by myself. And let me tell you. Right before I went to Colombia, I had a dream that I took this rug with me. And when I had that dream, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta take that rug. It's the one thing that I knew that I had to take when I went to Colombia. And let me just tell y'all, I'm so freaking happy that I took this rug with me in Colombia because when I tell you, she made me feel like home. No matter where I went, I had this sense of home because of my rug like oh my god i love my rug like she just she just she just i don't know but like she just made me feel at peace guys like i'm a cancer and we love to feel at home no matter what and so there's no better way to feel at home than to have some sort of rug because not only is she travelable, but she's versatile. She can be in a park, in the grass. She can be in a, in a house, in a room. She can be wherever you want her to be, and she's still gonna buy. She gonna add that, that extra sense of touch to wherever you are going, wherever you're at. And so I'm just so happy that I had that dream to bring her because I don't know what I would have done if I didn't bring her. Like, I don't know. And even when I was in Colombia, like, I've met people in bonded with people because of this rug. Can you believe it? Like literally, everybody in Colombia always complimented my rug. And even one girl got inspired to make her own rug when she saw my rug. Like literally y'all, like my baby is an inspiration. I have two more that's similar to her. Like I'm sitting on one right now, but it's nothing like her. It's just something about this one 
that's just mm. so yes guys right this is my baby this this is my baby this is the one item i knew i had to bring when i had when i went to columbia this is the one item that i had in columbia that always made me feel at home even when i was so far away from home this this rug was just like we have been through so much together we have shared so many memories together even some of our, my youtube videos she's in it like yeah this is my rug guys like i love her so much i i, I just really love my rug um yeah this is the ultimate thing that i feel that describes me as an individual in my personality those are the five items that describes soul so if you wanted to know a little bit more about soul which i'm pretty sure you can obviously tell who i am as an individual just through my videos but like i just i just want to do something fun because i just been on here being all serious with motivational stuff and i'm like we need to we need to we need to add some 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 spice to it you know let's switch it up a little bit you know because i i like to be fun i'm very fun i'm very childlike like even you know you see with my stuff they're very like childlike things you know and that is because i'm a childlike individual i'm not childish but i am a childlike person um there's a difference so yes guys these these are my items these are my baby each of these items that i have presented to you holds sentimental value to my heart i have developed a personal relationship with each and every last one of them and i hope you guys appreciated the fact that i decided to share them with you all because it is a deep sense of me and who i am don't forget to check me out at ascribemirror.com again i did everything myself so i did it for you guys i'm came to be a light of this universe so you better appreciate me while i'm here you know i just i just want y'all to see my creativity like yeah because i i ate that like i ate that <laughs> I thank you guys for being here and I appreciate you all appreciate you all so much. Ciao! I forgot to show y'all there was a um a Palo Santo stick. <laughs>